Okay, so for this problem here, I have two components, and I want to find the common difference in the general term. Well, I know that u3, well, I know the general term says un is u1 plus d n minus 1. And this is in your IB formula book. If I plug values in for this first term here, I can say that u sub 3, meaning n is 3, and it equals 8, equals u1 plus d 3 minus 1. And so here's one equation. Let's tidy it up a little bit. 8 is equal to u1 plus 2d. And so I have two variables to find. If that's the case, I need to find a second equation. Well, conveniently, I have another variable here to, a, there I can use. So I could say that u8, which is negative 17, is equal to u1, which I don't know, plus my difference, is I don't know either, but it's n minus 1. n is 8, so it's 8 minus 1, which tidying up again, I get negative 17 is equal to u1 plus 7d. Here's two equations, two unknowns. So I can do simultaneous equations. I can add and subtract them. So I'm going to take this and let's put it down below. Let's take this whole thing here, move it down below, and I'm going to I'm going to subtract my two equations. Ah, come back. All right. And so what I'm going to do then? I'm going to subtract, subtract them. Negative, negative, negative. And so I end up with negative 25 is equal to, the u1's cancel, equal to 5d. And so then d equals negative 5. With that, I have d is negative 5. If I want to find u1, I can plug it into either one of these two equations. Let's do the first, the second one. 8 is equal to u1 plus 2 times negative 5. So 8 is equal to u1 minus 10. Add the 10, I get 18 is equal to u1. So my general term is un equals u1 plus d which I know is negative 5. times n minus 1. This is the general term here. Now, there, I will show you one more thing. There, I could have found d in another way. And this is kind of using the idea of how arithmetic sequences are done to begin with. So if I take, I know my first, my u3, is 8. And then I got u4, u5, u6, u7, and u8. And this is negative 17. I know I have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 differences to get them. So if I take 8, and if I add 5 differences, I will get negative 17. So this is kind of just using your common sense, the, the whole concept of arithmetic series or sequence to get d. So I get 5d is negative 25, and then d is equal to negative 5. Taking this value, <coughs> you have to go back to these equations to begin with, and then you can get u1 in the general term. This idea here, this concept, I like that one because it shows you really understand it as opposed to plugging in formulas.